Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Rockzilla and welcome to the squad. Today, I just want to talk about the uh, Valve Steam Deck. Quite sure a lot of you guys already heard about it, but let's get into it. Valve is releasing a new handheld device. It's called the Valve Steam Deck. This device will be released mid-December. Let's get into some of the specs. The CPU is a Zen 2 with 4 cores and 8 threads at 2.4 to 3.5 gigahertz, up to 448 G flops. The GPU is 8 RDNA, 2 Compu units, 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I found my device that I'll be playing Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl. As far as the storage goes, it depends on the version you purchase. From 64 gigs up to 512. It has two touch surfaces on both sides of the device to serve as a mouse. The device also has a gyroscope for motion controllers. The core hardware is not upgradable, but you can upgrade the SD card. The device uses Steam OS 3.0, but at your desire, you can run and download Windows instead. The Steam OS is up to date with current new gen consoles. The device provides a sleep mode or a suspend resume feature so you can resume play when the gamer inside you reawakens. Pretty cool, huh? The system has a built-in mic, you can talk to your buds on the go, it also has Bluetooth capabilities, a Type-C USB port, or a 3.5mm headset jack so you can still use your favorite headphones. <coughs> Alienware. <laughs> you can also play local multiplayer. The Steam Deck also has a 4WHR battery. Valve states that that is 2 to 8 hours of gameplay. Depending on how graphically intense of the game you are playing, once again the device will be available in December and there will be three price options. First, we have the $399 option, which is the 64 gigabyte option, and you also get a carrying case. Second, the 529 option, which is 256 gigabytes NVMe SSD, faster storage, you get a carrying case once again, exclusive community profile bundle, and last but not least, we have the 649 option, which is probably the best option, the one that I would go for. You have fastest storage, premium anti-glare etched glass, exclusive carrying case, exclusive Steam community profile bundle, exclusive virtual keyboard theme. Reservation started at Friday, July the 16th, which was yesterday. And dude, how can I forget the display is a 7 inch LCD touchscreen with resolution of 1280 by 800 with a 60 hertz refresh rate. Sounds amazing. Dude, you guys need to hop on this. Get on the reserve train if it's not too late. I'm not really the tech savvy guy, but I know what I'm looking for because I do my own research. But hey, you guys tell me. I also like to learn too, man, because it's a lot that I missed out on. If anybody could inform me about some of the major details that I may have missed out on, where there'll be VR capabilities. If I missed out on something, inform your boy. Hey, man, it was a pleasure talking to you guys, man. I'll catch you guys next time.